Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to change your printer status from offline to online on Windows 11. This tutorial will apply for Epson, Brother, Canon, Xerox, printers, scanners, and other devices. Anything that consumes ink, basically, whether it be black or colored ink. So, covers pretty much all your common printers and scanners, basically or more appropriately printers, but you know some of them have scanners built into them. But it should be a pretty straightforward process, guys, about how to get them all online. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Search for Control Panel. Best match to come back with Control Panel. Go ahead and open that up. Set your view by up in the top right to large icons. And then you want to select Devices and Printers. Go ahead and select the printer you're having the problem with. So in my case, it's a Brother printer. But like I said, it might be Canon, Epson, HP, Dell, pretty much any kind of main uh, manufacturer of printers and accessories. So we're going to go ahead and right click on our brother printer here, the one we're having the problem with. And we're going to select printer properties. Do not select properties. You want to select printer properties. So go ahead and left click on that. Select the ports tab. And then select the one that has the numbers in the port name. So go ahead and select that. Select configure port versus SNMP status enabled. You want to uncheck that and then select OK. Once that is done, you should be able to go ahead and close out of here. Restore your computer and restore your printer. And that should hopefully be about it. So also make sure your printer is turned on itself. So if there are any settings you have to change, go ahead and make sure you've done that. Also make sure your printer, if it's a wireless printer, that you've plugged in your Wi-Fi credentials into it so that everything can sync up. But pretty much what I just showed in the control panel and the devices and printers, hopefully that should have been able to resolve the problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.